and welcome to Ingredient Challenge with me, Rosie Burkett, for BBC Good Food. In this episode, I've been challenged to cook with tinned tomatoes, and I'm going to be cooking a spicy spaghetti with chorizo, purple sprouting broccoli, and a crispy caper crumb. Right, let me talk you through the ingredients that we've got. So we've got a tin of tomatoes, um, 50 grams or thereabouts of just stale breadcrumbs that I've blitzed up from some leftover sourdough, some purple sprouting broccoli, about 30 grams of chorizo, half a red onion, a red chilli, a couple of cloves of garlic, some capers, about a teaspoon of sugar, uh, about a tablespoon of mascarpone, and then about 180 grams of spaghetti. I really love doing crispy breadcrumbs to go with spaghetti in any kind of pasta because it adds crunch, it adds a kind of different flavour and I'm going to flavour this crumb with capers which is another favourite to go with particularly with tomato based um, sweet tomato sauces with pasta. So this is how you make the crumb. I've got about a tablespoon of just capers uh, that were in some brine in the fridge and I'm just going to chop them up. So you want to kind of finely chop them and what we're going to do is we're going to fry these capers in a little bit of olive oil until they go a little bit dry and crispy and then we're going to toast the breadcrumbs in the pan with them as well and then this is going to go over the top of the pasta a bit like you might use parmesan so finely chop your capers like that and then heat up probably about two tablespoons of olive oil Get the capers in the oil. You want these capers to infuse the oil and go nice and crunchy and they start to warm up. And they will stick because they've got quite a lot of moisture in them. So just stand back slightly. Okay, now I can feel that those are starting to get nice and crispy. So I'm going to add in the breadcrumbs. And you just want to coat the crumbs in the oil and the capers. Right, so these will take a few minutes to toast and you really, you want to start feeling them getting nice and crunchy and you'll feel, feel that on your pan and on the edge of your spoon or spatula, whatever you're using. And these are a couple of, what, maybe about a minute off now. You can see how lovely and crunchy and delicious they are. And then just, onto some kitchen towel just to absorb any excess oil. Finely chop a red onion. I like it in slices, sort of half moon slices like this. And then finely chop a chilli. I'm going to leave the seeds in because I like this to be really spicy but if you're less less of a chilli head than just remove the seeds. Chop your garlic and just chop up your rosemary as well. You could use dried rosemary if you haven't got any fresh rosemary or a bit of thyme or oregano, dried oregano would also be good. And then I've just got this chorizo, I'm going to take it out of its skin and it's lovely and soft and then I'm just going to break it up lightly and this is going to bring such lovely sweetness, smokiness from the smoked paprika and lots of nice fat and flavour so I'm just going to roughly kind of chop that up and we're using it really as a kind of seasoning rather than as a protein Right, so we're going to fry these ingredients in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then we'll add in the tinned tomatoes and while the sauce is reducing, that's when we're going to cook our spaghetti and our purple sprouting broccoli. So everything into the olive oil. I've got a couple of tablespoons and what you want is for the chorizo to melt down into the oil and release all its lovely flavours and spices. And this all just smells amazing already. We're going to cook this for about five minutes until everything's kind of soft and tender and the oil's infused with all the flavours. 
So this has all been cooking gently together just for a few minutes and you can see that the chorizo has released its oil and the onion is softened in that oil with the olive oil and everything is looking really, really good and aromatic and lovely. And it's at this point that we want to add in the tinned tomatoes. So I'm just going to add in my tin of tomatoes in here. And I've been stirring everything constantly, that's important so that nothing catches. And then you just see that when you add in the tomatoes, everything comes together really nicely. And then we just want to leave this cooking gently while we cook our pasta and our purple sprouting broccoli. Just keep on cooking it and stirring it and it's going to reduce down and become really lovely and rich. Right, so we've got a big pan of boiling salted water here and we're just going to first of all blanch our broccoli. I've got purple sprouting broccoli but you could use tender stem or failing that just any old broccoli that you might have. I'm using the leaves as well. Right, so the broccoli is ready. I'm just going to scoop this out with my tongs, give it a bit of a shake, let the excess drain off and then put it onto a plate to cool. So grab your spaghetti or whatever pasta you've got be nice with linguine, tagliatelle, it'd be nice with a shorter shape as well and just get your pasta in there and then we're just going to cook the pasta until it's al dente so not cooked all the way through still retaining a little bit of bite so while the pasta's cooking and the sauce is finishing off we're just going to chop up our purple sprouting broccoli which is lovely and tender and you just want it in kind of bite-sized pieces to go through the sauce Okay, so while our pasta's cooking, I'm just gonna show you this sauce, which has reduced down, and it's looking now lovely and silky and thick. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar in there. Just, it's about a teaspoon of caster sugar, just because some tin tomatoes aren't that sweet. Um, and these were quite budget tin tomatoes, so it's just gonna help with the sweetness. And then I'm gonna add in a spoonful of mascarpone. You could use double cream, if you've got any of that or creme fraiche or maybe yogurt um, if not just a knob of butter is good as well that's just gonna make this really lovely and rich so stir that through I'm gonna add in the purple sprouting broccoli good quick grind of black pepper and a pinch of salt as well Season it all up. Just stir that all together with the chorizo and the tomato. And that is looking lovely. And then what we're going to do is add our pasta into the pan just to finish it all off. Okay, so the pasta is al dente, so I'm just going to take it over to our saucepan and drain it straight from the pan into the into the sauce. Sorry about that buzzing, it's the, it's the induction hob. Um, so that's going straight in there. And you want to make sure that you're getting some of the water in there as well. So I'm just splashing it in, but I'm gonna just add in a little slosh of the cooking water from the pasta. And then you just want to bring it all together here in the pan. And just combine everything in there so you've got the pasta is actually finishing off cooking in the sauce. So this is our finished pasta and then I'm just going to use my tongs. This is quite a good trick. You just use the tongs to twist it out of the pan and onto the plate. And that way you get a little bit of everything. And then I'm just gonna finish off with some freshly ground black pepper all over here. And some of our lovely crunchy caper crumb. And there we go, this is our spicy tin tomato spaghetti with purple sprouting broccoli and crispy caper crumb.